Would you like to learn how to draw an abstract flower? Just watch. Each summer, I have a fantastic opportunity that's uh, afforded me by Baltimore County Public Schools. And it's not just me, it's afforded to all art teachers in our district. And it's called plein air drawing. And plein air drawing is when you go outside, you're taking your drawing boards, your um, paints. I even have an easel that I've now gotten. I've had years where I've gone out and I've had chairs and shade and uh, I'm pulling a little red wagon to these sites and uh, we spend two days out at parks all around Baltimore and we draw. Some people draw the whole landscape. Uh, some people just do trees and hills and valleys. Sometimes they're houses. One person one day did the sky. It's beautiful. I myself have always been attracted to the flowers. It's, I don't know what it is. It's something about flowers that just really entices me, that pulls me in, that makes me want to step into that world of the flower. I've found flowers growing in um, patches of rubble. Um, sometimes they've had gardens. Now this year was different. This year we had what we called a virtual plein air where instead of all of us going to a certain park and meeting, we met virtually, discussed what, where we were going to go, and there were about 80 teachers in total. So this was twice the amount that we normally have. And then after that, we would go off to our sites and start doing our plein air painting, although my painting is normally with pastel whether it's oil or whether it's soft pastel and I'm telling you this is something that gives me joy every year one year I couldn't do it it was a year I um, had gone to China and by the time I had gotten back from over there with the kids uh, it was over because it normally happens the week following school's end so this year Instead of going to a park, I went to my mother's front yard. My mother has a front yard that has been filled with flowers and I've even shown you some of these before where I have, um, I think I did some roses one time, but I've just always found these different flowers in her front yard and this time I found these orange lilies. First we thought they were tiger lilies, but tiger lilies have a lot of spots. Um, did a little bit more research and found out they're orange lilies. And after doing them, as I would be driving around different areas, I'm seeing them in everybody's yard. I look in my vat, my neighbor's yard, she has them growing over there. So I think I'm going to get some bulbs and plant some for next year. Anyway. I, I love these lilies, and it's not just because of the bloom. It's because of the actual leaves that happen below the long stem of the lily, and it creates this interesting positive and negative shapes that intertwine. And as an artist, I've always been drawn to things that overlap and entwine. I'm going to keep on doing these drawings. I'm going to try to do some experiments with different color theories and, and see what comes up. But I'm really enjoying it. And as an artist, as an art teacher, we need 
to do more art. And, and finally, you know, after so many years, I'm coming to a point where I'm seeing a series develop and I haven't really found a series for years. <laughs> I'm talking about many years. I'm not going to tell you how many, but for many years. So I'm enjoying this third painting, third drawing of a series. I'm going to do some more. I will share some more with you. But I hope you enjoy this piece as much as I did. I love the colors. I love the intertwining of the shapes and the lines. And um, let's see where it goes from here. Thanks for uh, coming see my video. I really appreciate you. Take care. Bye-bye.